Microphone activated. Disconnected. Hey guys, it's the Marine here with a, another Mastery Badge uh, battle. Um, I've had Heartbreak Mastery Badges before. This one is just quite simply infuriating with what happened at the end. Um, but not to spoil it any further, let's see what happens. Usually with a medium, what I like to do on this map, regardless of spawn, is get up into C4 and spot the vehicles coming across the A-line. What this will allow my team to do is um, hopefully the campers up on the ridge at E1, E2 will be able to get some uh, shots down on the tanks which are coming to the town. Um, it's a pretty common tactic to see this in Clan Wars a lot and pretty much every single battle. Um, this is probably not the best tank to go there given its high profile and um, it's really poor camouflage. But I want to win, so. Now this is actually, this battle right here is my ninth battle in this tank. Um, thus far, I'm not loving it, but I'm not hating it. It's actually not too bad. I've found that the gun soft stats are pretty phenomenal. Um, it can snapshot real well. Uh, the aim time is manageable. The maneuverability and um, lower front plate are pretty bad, but... My biggest criticism of this tank is it pretty much has no acceleration. I have to absolutely get out of here as soon as possible. I'm getting shot at from so many different angles right now. But fortunately, the armor held up just enough for me to get out of here. So at this point, I pretty much thought my match was over. Um, I thought there was no way in hell I'd be able to recover from this. Um, but what I decided to do is try and position myself where I can positively affect the team. This Lux is never going to penetrate my tank. I was pretty much fired out of frustration there. So again, I'm taking fire from pretty much everywhere. Uh, this tank just does not have the maneuverability to go there, go to that position. Um, its armor can hold up, but it's not the greatest. And so now I see that the town is down to just two IS-3s. The IS-3 has some pretty good armor, but its reload time is um, less than stellar, and if these guys have been shot even once, there's a good chance that they're going to be ammo racked.
And so now the town is dead. And I just have to trust, unfortunately, the puppies to get as much damage as they, as they possibly can so that I can start working the town. JP2 probably thought he was safe, um, but nope. And already did uh, splash him to get the kill. Now I'm in a position where I really need to win a flank. And so what I have decided to do here is secure our backside. Um, from up here at E1, D1, I feel like I can probably cover most of the cap and have somewhere I can duck back down into to stay safe. Now, what I want to, ha to happen is a JP2 to pretty much just focus on spotting the cap and keeping everything safe. Right now, I'm just trying to focus down one target at a time. I really wanted to protect this JP2, and I also want to really just keep say keep uh, keep my cap safe now here I ask the t59 to go after their arty I didn't see the Senate this time but um, see so yeah, we do make the right call here to go after this scent this 59's doing. He's shooting into air, he's shooting nowhere. Nowhere where he should be. Now here, the, you see the Type 59, he's going after, uh, going. well, yeah, I assume he's going after Artie, which is perfectly fine. JP2 and I can hold the cap area, we can definitely uh, pull this out. Now one thing I was trying to get used to is finding the angles of depression. Sometimes vehicles will have more angle over the side or the rear or to the front, and so I'm trying to find a good area where I can use what little pressure this tank has and try to spot for the, as well for the JP-2. Now, my out. mistake there was I didn't just pull back. I should not have stayed to take that shot. I should have protected my health. Um, at that point, my armor had withstood several shots from IS-3s, T-34s, and so I was feeling way, way, way too overconfident about my armor. And I just data as much in uh, chat. Now, you'll see on the mini-map that the Type 59 is coming back. Oh, 
And unfortunately, JP2 makes a mistake, comes out, and he gets shot by a very low health 5100. And the 59, who instead of going to continue to kill the artillery, and then coming back to cap if need be, he's abandoned that mission so that he can come back to cap. May or may not be the right choice. Um, I probably would have gone after already killed artillery and then come back. Um, but that's really not the play right there that I'm going to be super, super critical of. So I'm trying to give the 50, the Type 59 some advice. Um, I've seen, I don't know if the 5100 is reloaded yet, but it looks like he's fired at least five shots and so he was last been spotted and he's backing way off. So I'm trying to encourage him to go in after the 5100. He can take two hits, so as long as he is aggressive, uh, he can get in close, he can um, he can afford to take one hit from this guy. So now the Type 59 is going to go to and take the most asinine route in order to get to their cap. What he should have done instead is come down and probably work the depression along, along this route right here. This probably would have been best for him. But now, as you can see, the 59 is going to just come over here and sit in the corner. Or rather, he's going to scout it. No idea why. Uh, he's already been told where um, artillery is. And we're all just absolutely furious at this guy right now. So instead of staying on top of the bridge where he can go even faster, he's coming down here to drive through the water and then uphill, which is going to slow him down. Type 59, while it's really mobile, does not have necessarily the best engine. So he's making use of every possible terrain feature in order to slow himself down. The Hummel's not exactly a fast vehicle either. So, again, instead of staying up high where he can get there a little bit more quickly, he's coming down into the water and then going to drive up the hill. Again, wasting precious time. Because you know, why use your probably excellent view range to outspot artillery and, you know, take a shot at him, maybe try to kill him? I don't know. But instead he wastes a significant amount of time just driving along the very bottom. He has absolutely no clock awareness, no situational awareness. Well, 
hey, look. He spotted him. He took his time to aim and missed. And instead of continuing to go in after him, he freaking throws the damn game. But let's see what happens. And again, this was another mastery and defeat. Um, I was able to earn the mastery because I did earn a high caliber. I ended up doing 3,357 damage for base experience of 1248. And I ended up profiting 39,000. Uh, the ammunition for this vehicle is pretty cheap. Um, it just takes a little bit getting used to. It's somewhat similar to the Panther and in terms of playstyle, but you can afford to be a little bit more aggressive. You have wonderful DPM with that uh, long 88, and it's very little, very rarely do I need premium ammunition with this tank, unlike the Pershing. But I had I watched after my health a lot earlier. Um, this would have been a win, more than likely. The uh, Jumbo would not have been able to kill me with the shots that he did kill me with. Um, I lost way too much health in the beginning, and because of that, I was unable to carry in the end. Had I watched after my health significantly better, uh, this would have been a win. But it, honestly, it shil still should have been, um, but this idiot had to go and throw it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed.